Jigging is a technique which has always been legal on Lake Taupo, but it's only really been in the last decade that people have realised how effective it can be and it has really taken off. It's a fun technique, it's great for kids and works really well during the summer when other techniques such as trolling get tough. Because jigging targets fish deep in the lake, you also don't have to get up early, but you can instead catch fish throughout the day jigging, which makes it ideal for families. You don't need expensive gear either, as it can be just as effective from a dinghy or a kayak as it is from a larger boat. Okay, I've, um, I've got a five, five and a half feet rod. Um, you can use sort of six, seven feet rod, but um, just a basic, um, basic spinning rod really. Nice and light, two to four kilos. Um, gives you plenty of feel. A simple bait cast and reel, um, fitted with um, braid. I've got some different coloured braid, which um, changes colour every five metres, but that's not necessary. But um, yeah, 10 pound braid, loaded on there. Um, level wine keeps it all nice and tidy and um, onto there I've got a, quite a long trace probably about three meters long with the three-way swivels and then coming off there I've got a really short dropper anywhere close to 100 100 millimeters to about 150 and then I use um, smell imitation flies um, so at the bottom of the trace I've got a two-end sinker which is just clipped on here. Um, I use three flies plus a sinker. Um, you can use three flies plus a jig, but the hook must be removed from the jig. Um, I like I like using this. Um, it doesn't get hooked up too often and um, has nice contact when you're bouncing along the bottom. When I lift the rods, it's, it's on the bottom. I'll feel the bottom all the time. I'm constantly in touch with the bottom. So whether I need to wind in or I need to drop down, and I'm only lifting the rod slightly, um, just giving it a sort of slow jiggling action, um, not like jigging in the sea where you're really lifting the, the flies. Um, it's just a small, small lift, um, but I, I like to do it constantly. Um, other people sort of leave it stationary and then give it a little bit of a lift to just to give the, the flies some action in the water. With the droppers being quite short, um, you don't need too much movement to um, in the lift to, to give the flies movement and that seems to be what attracts the trout to the fly. One of the um, the keys with jigging is um, is location and so if you find the right location um, you'll probably find the fish and so you're looking for either structure or um, or significant drop-offs where the um, where you go from shallow to deep and you can drift along along that edge there'll be fish lined up along that drop-off. Uh, probably the key, mess, uh, key depth will be 25 to about 40 meters that you will pick fish up in. That's um, the best time to jig is during summer when the lake is stratified where there's warmer water on the top and cooler water beneath and there's a really productive layer um, in the food chain um, at the thermocline. Uh, temperature changes by as much as 10 degrees over a short distance and that's where you'll find the bait fish to smelt that will where you find um, the trout and um, that's what you want to be looking for on your sounder and um, if you if you get those locations and correct then um, you'll be picking up fish.